to carry on with our water spot removal using our two-step water spot pretreatment and first contact polymer process. Uh, we're going to be this time removing water spots from a SCT corrector plate. And there you can see right under my pinky where there's two water spots on this. We intentionally put those on there in order to show you how to remove them. It's going to be difficult to see them obviously when it's down on the table. But if you keep it oriented to the secondary mounting screw here, if you keep an idea of where they're at, you'll see that they're when they're they're gone. So I'm, instead of spraying it on, I'm using this pipette because I want it just on the spot. Obviously with a corrector plate, you can't just hose it down with the pretreatment because it will most likely run underneath your secondary mount and if it's still mounted in your tube assembly, it'll, it can run around out here. And you can see the pretreatment sitting on the surface where those water spots were. And I'm just going to keep that wet for a few minutes while it uh, has an opportunity to dissolve the constituents in the water spot. I've allowed the pretreatment to sit on the corrector plate for several minutes now, and because it was a droplet, or several droplets actually, it's still liquid, it hasn't dried. Hopefully you can see it there on the surface and it is still liquid all around it. So I believe it's had it, an opportunity to dissolve the constituents in the water spot. So I'm going to just move on to step two. In step two, I'm just going to take a 15 mil bottle of our first contact polymer and I'm going to pour it directly onto the pretreatment where I applied it on the water spot. And then I'm just going to carefully mix the two together so that they, the two will coalesce into one film. I'm just gonna kinda slightly agitate it here, just so that the water spot treat pretreatment comes in off the edge. You can see it starts to get a little thick where the pretreatment is mixing in but as it mixes in it starts coalescing with the polymer and just becoming one fill and just to make sure that I have it all mixed together I'm going to make this spot a little bit bigger just to make sure I don't have any spots where there's polymer sitting I've got a piece of chemical resistant nylon mesh now and you can see I've bent it into an L so that when I set it into the polymer it will stand up off the surface and this will be the handle that we can use to remove that dry polymer film. As we've talked about in other videos you want to allow the polymer to dry for a few minutes before you set the chemical resistant mesh into it so that it doesn't sink to the surface and potentially trap a very thin layer of polymer under it that may not peel off. So this polymer has been drying for several minutes now so I'm going to set my mesh into it and then just put another thin layer over top of it so it's sandwiched into the polymer. Alright, so we have our handle to remove once it's completely dry. Now we just have to wait for that to happen and again because there's water now introduced into 
uh, the mixture of the pretreatment and the polymer. It will take considerably longer than polymer itself. So we're just going to let that dry and we'll come back to it once it's fully, fully dried and we'll peel it off and take a look at where those water spots were. All right, so this is dried sufficiently. I'm going to go ahead and peel that off and then I'm going to lift it up towards the camera so that you can see the light reflecting off of it and take a look at where the water spots were. Okay, let me get the light. There you go. You can see the two that I was working on are gone. That's a third one right there, but let me back it up. As you remember, the two were just offset from this screw, and they are gone. And then we have that other one over there that I can clean up later. So, it's a good way to remove water spots from a corrector plate.